Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to create and animate 3D text in Photoshop CS5. My name is Alana, and I'll be taking you through this tutorial today. So first thing is open up Photoshop, go File, New to create a new document. Make sure it's Photoshop CS5 because this feature wasn't actually available in previous versions. We'll just call it 3D text. Pick a width and height that fits your screen well. Make sure your resolution is set to 300 pixels per inch with uh, color mode, RGB color, and 8-bit depth. Click OK. Now that we have our document, we can grab the text tool here and start creating some text. I'm going to type the word digital just like that. You can change the color of your text from here. I'm going to go for... Um, a, p a bright pink. Don't pick black, just pick another color like blue, green, yellow, something that's bright so the 3D effect will show up. Now if you want to space out your letters a little bit more, hold down ALT and um, press the right arrow key to space them out like that or the left arrow key to bring them closer together. So I'm going to space them out a bit like that. Click the arrow tool now, you may ask, how are we going to make this text 3D? Well, it's easy. Just go under the 3D menu up here, go to uh, Repousser, which in French means uh, to push out, and click Text Layer. Now, it's going to ask you if it's alright that this layer is going to be rasterized, so just make sure, double check you've spelt everything correctly, click Yes. Now, it's going to bring up our 3D menu here and as you can see it's really cool it's just like a 3d studio max or any other 3d modeling program you have your shape presets here some materials here the tools are along here but for now i'm going to keep this uh, really simple i'm going to extrude the depth a little bit type in five there as you can see it's changing you can even grab your model and move it all around and you can see how sweet it looks so we'll leave it there like that. I'm also going to add a little bit of twist to my model. So I'll enter in number four like that. As you can see, it gave it a little bit of an interesting twist. Once you're happy with your model, press OK. And as you can see, we now have a bitmap. 3D model of text, which is pretty cool. So now you may ask, how are we going to animate this? Well, it's again, it's so easy. Go under Window and bring up your animation uh, menu here. And it's just like After Effects or any other uh, animation program, you just drop your uh, layer down here and you can see all these parameters that we're going to animate. So I'm going to do a really basic animation with the 3D object position. So first thing is click the little alarm clock here to add a keyframe and we'll move down the timeline a bit. We'll make this a short animation, about five seconds. From here we're going to add in another keyframe. You can just click that little yellow diamond there to add it and then we got to move the text. We got to have uh, two keyframes in order for it to do something. Remember that. So, to move your text, go up under Window and open up the 3D menu. Grab this uh, tool here that is the Object Rotate tool, and we're just going to move it like so. Really simple, really simple little animation. And if you go back, you're going to see it's moving. So it's that simple. Play around with all the parameters. It's really fun, and before before Photoshop CS5, if you wanted to do this, you would have to use a, a different program, either a 3D modeling program or Illustrator. So this is pretty cool because now you can do everything right here in Photoshop. Now, once you're happy with your animation, you can even play it back. I'm on a laptop, so obviously it's going to take a while for it to render, but you can see it's moving. Looks pretty cool. Once it's uh, gone through and it's rendered, you can look at it again a little bit faster. Make sure, double check that all the motion is all good. Let's see if we want to play it back from here. It's looking pretty cool. I like it. So we can just stop that, go back to the beginning. Now you may ask, how are we going to turn this animation into QuickTime file or movie file? Well, it's easy. Just go under File, Export, and go uh, Render Video. Click that. It's going to ask you the name, 
and uh, select the folder where you're gonna put it. I'll just put it on the desktop for now. And it's gonna ask you um, which uh, format you would like. So I'm gonna say QuickTime Movie. You can go under Settings. And let's see, while well, sound is not important for this, obviously, this is not important. We can go under Settings. I'm gonna choose uh, something a little bit more compressed. And yeah, we'll go for high quality. And you can select your size. Do you want it in HD? Sure. So let's do it in 720p, for example. We click OK. Maybe um, check this on just in case. And once uh, everything looks ready to go, all frames, looks good, we click Render. And as you can see, Photoshop is going to be rendering this beautiful 3D text animation that we have made. Okay guys, so once your animation has finished rendering, you can open it up in QuickTime Player or whatever the program and play it back. Looks pretty cool. Thanks guys, I hope you have found this tutorial helpful and I'll be making more of them in the future, so see you later, bye!